Hey guys, uh, this is Mike from Feed the Bot Marketing here. Uh, just going to show you guys another really cool uh, tutorial for mini chat. Um, this one, what it does, well, I, I'm just going to show you. So let's go ahead and hit preview here real quick. Go into Messenger. Um, so right, here, so right now this is a, kind of attached to a little test that I'm doing. It says Mike, let's see if you saw the clue and are in the right spot. So, so what I want to do is make sure that they're in a specific location. If they're not within a certain location, then I I don't want them to deliver the or I don't want MiniChat to deliver the flow. But if they are in a certain location, then they should get the the congratulations flow delivered. So you can see right now. Uh, it says congratulations you are in the right place uh, click the link below sir for the second clue um, we won't worry about that that's attached to something different but you can see it says for testing purposes we've altered your gps coordinates basically i altered my gps coordinates to fit inside the geofence that i created uh, i know that may sound like gobbledygook but um, i'm, I'm going to go and kind of show you exactly how i did it so um, the first thing is how to get uh, send location so uh, you can see in this message here um, what I did is I just used a user input and when you see the reply type it's actually set to location and then I save it to a custom field which this one's called treasure hunt GPS coordinates okay so once I capture the GPS um, location from them then what I'm gonna do is this this here this is the override so we'll that there this is override for my test that's that's me overriding the input so that I'm actually fall within the correct area so you can see well if I do this so let's get this so I don't lose it delete that confirm that send that over to there hit publish and preview you can see this time when I send the location I say, oh, sorry, you know, you're not in the right place. So let's go ahead and move that back. Little pop-ups. Close that. Close that. Close out of that. Okay. Anyway, so this the second part of the action. What I'm going to do is I'm going to increase this other field that I have called Treasure Hunt Sheet Increase by one and we'll talk about that in just a second there um, that that's basically a bot field all right and I, I want that to increase by one every time because I'm going to use that to look up um, the their data from the sheets so the next one here is set custom field so you can see this is uh, treasure hunt latitude sheet formula so this is the formula that I'm passing to Google Sheets and this one here you can see this is treasure hunt sheet increase so that's very important to have that right so so this one that we're increasing by one every time it also is inside the custom field here that we pass to Google Sheets for the formula and I'll show you that in just a second as well then after that what we do is we go ahead and uh, we use the Google Sheet insert action um, to pass all of this information into the Google Sheets, you can see GPS translation is the spreadsheet. Uh, the sheet I'm working with in there, the tab is sheet one. I want to pass the user ID, the treasure hunt GPS coordinates, the treasure hunt latitude sheet formula. There is a longitude space, but that is blank because that will be filled in by the formula. And then the sheet increase, the, or what I call the sheet ID. Okay, so I need to pass all of that into Google Sheets. Then once I'm done passing that into Google Sheets, well, let me show you the sheet here real quick. So this is, so everything except for column D is what I'm passing in. So I pass in the mini chat ID, because I always like to have the mini chat ID just in case. And then this is how, uh, this is how mini chat actually sends your GPS coordinates. So it sends latitude and longitude separated by a comma. Okay, so in order to check your latitude and longitude to make sure they're inside what I call the GPS fence, uh, you need to break that up into two separate fields so you can see latitude and longitude. It's actually pretty easy um, using Google Sheets. So if you look at this right now, it's got my 
latitude in there, 44.091116. You can see it matches right here. But if you look, there's an actual formula that's creating that number as well as populating this field here. So it's equals split and then in close parentheses B2. So it's saying, okay, take our information in B2. And then these two quotations, this is the separator that we're looking for. So we're looking for a comma. And when it sees that comma, it's going to stop. It's going to delete the comma and it's going to take everything before the comma and it's going to put it into C2, right? Because it's pulling the information from B2. So if you're assigning this formula in C2, that's where the first one goes, okay? This formula also states, it doesn't show, but it also states that anything after the comma will go into D2, okay? And that's where the sheet ID comes in. So every time we do this, we want to increase the sheet ID because this formula needs to increase every time. So you can see this one's B2, this one's B3, this one's B4, this one's B5, so on and so forth. But if you go look back here, where we set that, you can see equals split B, and then I have a field, all right? And so this is the treasure hunt sheet increase. So how you do this, when you have a text um, field anyway, is you just do the, the two brackets, so bracket, bracket, to pull up your field, and then just type in my treasure hunt sheet increase because it's a bot field. So that there, and then what that will do is it will combine the two into one field, and then that's what I'm passing into the Google Sheets, right? So that needs to increase every time so that my formula works every time and gives me the correct GPS. So we're passing this information, this information, this information in here, this one's passed as an equation, which then turn or a formula, which then turns into the latitude and then creates the longitude, and then we pass the sheet ID in, right? So this is the one that we want, okay? But when we're looking it up, we can't just look it up by the mini chat ID, because you can see there's a ton of the same mini chat ID. So what if we have different GPSs and they're in different locations and they try it multiple times? This this just is not the best solution to do it. The easiest way to do it is actually create a unique identification system, which I call the sheet ID, right? And I'm increasing it by one every single time. So this will always be different. It also allows my uh, formula to work, right? So I use this as the lookup, okay? And because I do it all in one fluid motion, the, this is where we're putting it into the sheet, and then this is where we're pulling it out of the sheet. Nobody else can go through that flow in that amount of time, right? So I use the same sheet ID when we go to get the row. So let's take a look at this, okay? So again, we're pulling from spreadsheet GPS translation. Tab is sheet one. The lookup column is sheet ID. So if you look up here, sheet ID, this is the lookup number. This is the number that I'm looking up my data by, okay? Now lookup value is treasure hunt sheet increase, okay? So what it's going to do is it's going to pull the current value of this bot field and it's gonna find that value in the sheet. So if this bot, bot field was set to eight currently, it would find eight, all right? And so now ManyChat is looking at this row, okay? And then it's going to ask, okay, well, what information do we want to pull? Well, I want to pull my latitude. I want to pull my longitude. And then I'm going to pull my testing location and my sheet ID, right? So those are the three pieces of info that I want. And you can see that if we're going by eight, then for latitude, we're going to have this. For longitude, we're going to have this. And for our sheet ID, we're going to have this, right? Okay, now, now we go into the next message, and this one basically states that, okay, we're going to alter the GPS coordinates so that I fall within those restrictions, right? 
Now these are my conditions, okay? This is this is where my actual GPS fence is set up. So I've got uh, I've got a minimum and a maximum latitude and a minimum and a maximum longitude. And I want to see if they're in there. So that's why I check, okay, is the location greater than or equal than 44 point blah blah blah? And is it less than or equal to 44 point oh so you can see the difference is like a point zero one uh, but that's a that's a decent amount that's like half a mile or so uh, so then treasure hunt longitude again greater than or equal than negative 92.51 or treasure hunt uh, longitude less than or equal to negative 92.507 I know this sounds like a lot of numbers okay where do we get it well the easiest way is Google Maps so this is the location that I chose an escape room here in Rochester uh, and what I did is I just found a nice little area and I was like okay well let's see here so then I click here and this down here gives you your latitude and your longitude okay and I record those numbers and then I clicked a nice little area right over here again got those numbers Put the little area right over here and got those numbers and then an area right over here again got those numbers all right so what I did then let's see if I can do this here this will be a, a good representation a little rough I apologize but uh, easiest way to get a nice little border going so what I essentially did is I captured the four points in the corners here I put them in the sheets I figured out what my lowest latitude was and what my highest latitude was and what my lowest longitude and what my highest longitude were and that's what I used to set this condition so what this condition is checking is it's basically saying okay here's the GPS coordinates that you gave us are they within this square if they are within this square, then we're going to allow you to do whatever we need you to do because you passed our test. If they aren't within this square, then I'm sorry, you've got to be, you know, within this square in order for that flow to work. So you can see right here, if I do yes, then it goes to the welcome message. And if it's not true, then okay, you're, you're not in the right place. Now, it's really important that it says matches all of the following conditions and not any of the following conditions right because it needs to match all four it needs to be greater than this and less than this real attitude and greater than this or equal to and less than this or equal to for your longitude okay so if you put any in here instead of all you will get a lot more false positives and you know let's say for instance you were using this for a loyalty bot to check if they were actually in the restaurant when they scanned it to prevent people from abusing it okay if you put any they could still be in one of these locations or the other you know so if let's take a look at this all right greater than or equal to 44.0899 for the latitude okay so if i said greater than or equal to 40 oh I gotta clear the distance in order to do that. Anyway, I could be over here and I could be greater than, but since I didn't check the less than latitude, it did not put me in here. It's it's I'm over here, but it's saying, Oh yeah, well I'm still here because I'm greater than this line right over here. And we don't want to do that. So uh that's pretty much all I've got. Uh there's uh a lot of versatility uh that comes with that. Um, you can do a lot of different things, make sure that, you know, people aren't abusing your bots, checking different locations and stuff. And you can even, you know, uh, sometimes I know there are places where GPS location isn't easily available. You know, whether you're down in a valley or, you know, just out of, uh, out of reception range. Um, you can even create like a little override and a password for the, for the restaurant or the hair salon or whatever to use so that, even if they are outside of that range or you know you couldn't get the GPS location the people can still get their reward or 
loyalty stamp or whatever you want to call it um, without having GPS capabilities. And I believe we have pretty much covered everything. Oh yeah, if you guys have any questions or anything, uh, feel free to let me know. I'll try to answer them as best I can. Uh, otherwise, uh, hope you guys have fun bot building. Thanks.